Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be the highly requested and waited for TI and tiny reading. Um, please keep in mind that there's some things that I am not going to be able to um, probably say <laughs> because of different regulations here on the tube. Also, all alleged for entertainment purposes only. And also, keep in mind, I am old, so I'll probably refer to T.I. as Tip a few times, because <laughs> that's what we I used to call in him. So, uh, this whole situation has been kind of confusing to me, because there has been so much stuff that has come out. You know, it started off with this allegation that, you know, a gun was held to Sabrina's head and she was threatened for standing up to, um, to, for somebody that, you know, apparently got their hands put on them or whatever. Down to now, people are like, oh, they're out here throwing pills and drinks and doing all kinds of crazy stuff, you know, and all kinds of crazy accusations flying everywhere. So, I think it's important, and then I guess Sabrina took like a lie detector test to prove that she was telling the truth, so it's a mess. I'm just going to ask, you know, if Sabrina's telling the truth, and then like, what about, you know, the other allegations, and then I guess like, is there anything else Spirit wants us to know in this situation? So, Spirit, please join us and answer any questions that you have in regards to... Tamika, aka Tiny Harris, and T.I. Harris, as well as Sabrina, who is the owner of the Brian University, as well as any of the other women who have come forward to lob allegations against T.I. and Tiny, including allegations of indecent behaviors. Thank you, sir, for joining me. We're asking only with the intention and purpose of clarity and understanding, not with any bad intent. We ask that you bless and protect all who we ask about in this reading, as well as all who participate and all who watch. Thank you, Spirit, for joining us. Amen. Spirit, is Sabrina telling the truth about the situation that happened to her? Thank you, Spirit. You know, sometimes that's kind of the thing that's, like, bad is that, I mean... And this is the thing that we have to keep in mind, you guys, and this was brought up quite a bit, you know, in the Nicki Minaj and Kenny Petty situation. Just because somebody has done bad things in their past does not mean that they are not capable of being hurt or victimized or lied on or anything like that in the present, you know. I mean, people can go call Jeffree Star a, mur a serial killer. If he's not, he's not. It's like, does that not make him not a horrible person and a racist? Yes. But does it mean that he's automatically a serial killer too? Not exactly. You know, so it's kind of the same situation. And that's why it sort of makes it a little bit hard too, though, when we have somebody like a Sabrina who has allegations against her for supposedly slicing people's faces and doing all kinds of crazy shit to others herself making allegations against somebody because it's like do we really trust that person you know and uh, they got their own stuff or they like really somebody that we should you know and it just makes things really difficult be so much easier if things were just so like black and white and cut and dry right but unfortunately that's not life Alrighty, so it, this is the thing. It's like, is she telling the truth to a certain extent? You know, um, the thing that I'm getting here is she's leaving out a lot of her part in things. Um, keep in mind that, you know, when she's talking about when this stuff happened, that's when she was also in the middle of her not great times of her life and they were all not in such great times of their life and so it's like I'm going to concentrate and talk about the th bad things that I saw you do back then but we're not going to talk about the bad stuff that you did that I also did and we're not going to talk about the bad stuff that I did and so it, you guys I wouldn't be surprised if either 
They might have been, because there's this, like, three of cups here. Sabrina shows up as the queen of wands. Here is, you know, Tiny as the empress. And then here's T.I. as the king of pentacles. Um, I'm almost surprised that he didn't show up as the emperor instead. But, you know, we do know that Tip is all about trying to be that guy, you know. Um, but then there's this three of cups. So it's like, because it's cups and it's not, it's not coins, it's not wands, it's not swords, you know, so it doesn't feel like it's like sexual cheating or anything like that. But this does feel like there was involvement. Like, oh, maybe, you know, like you're going out with us and you're also partaking in the same things that we're doing. And maybe you're not going to bring a girl home with you. But you were still doing other stuff while we were doing the stuff we were doing. Like, you were, you know, you might have been selling guns next to us while we're picking up prostitutes, but were we both breaking laws? <laughs> yes, you know, different laws, but we were still both doing things. But I do feel like there may have been some sort of underhanded, we were all a part of a, you know, group doing certain things, selling certain things, making money in not such good ways. Because that's what it feels like. Nefarious ventures, you know, things like selling guns and drugs and stuff like that. That's what this feels like, that connection that was going on between them. So it's like, okay, well, if you are hanging out with somebody that's running guns and drugs or any of the other things. And again, these are examples. Everything is all alleged for entertainment purposes only. We're just trying to explain the situation. You know, wouldn't you see like a lot of that kind of behavior going on anyways? Cause that's the life and that's what you put yourself in. So what, it's like there is some deception going on in this sense. There's also something here about wanting attention for financial gain. So, Keep in mind that there are going to be other people with this Ten of Cups and this Ten of Swords coming out with the same idea that, you know, oh, I can benefit off of this. I can work this situation to myself. If I tell my story, there's, you know, this that's going on. We do have this Justice card and the Six of Wands here with the Five of Cups, you guys. This does feel like there is going to be with the temperance and the hero fan, there's gonna be enough information that's gonna come out for this to turn into a legal issue. Whether we'll ask if that means actual legal jail or legal shut up and stop talking about me because you're ruining my business lawsuits, but there is going to be legal repercussions from this situation because of the information that's coming out and flying around everywhere. <sighs> and this is the thing that Spirit said about, you know, all of these other people coming out and adding their own experiences and stories to the mix. Some of them are going to be telling the truth. Some of them are going to tell a story that they heard happen to somebody else and they're like, I don't even remember whose name that was originally and i've heard this story told five different ways now so i'm just gonna say it was me because i was at a party one time that they were at too it's like stuff like that where can we really prove that you know so and so was doing blah 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 with so and so at such and such time no so that's what kind of makes me a little like nervous because it just feels like a lot of people talking and a there's going to be a lot of people that are going to get discredited that either, oh, I was trolling or, you know, somebody's homegirl is like, we were in Mexico. You couldn't have even been there anyways. Like, what are you talking about? So that's going to kind of like complicate things with a lot of like, oh, but she's actually lying. But this one is telling the truth to where people are like, so what's really going on? Is the whole story a lie or is it just that girl's story is a lie? Like, I can't keep it straight. So let's see, Spirit, is anybody going to go to jail behind this? Thank you.
They're definitely gonna be canceled and under a lot of scrutiny, trying to find their way out of it. And it's talking about more and more coming out against them, especially when it comes to things online. Um, there will be receipts, there will be pictures, there will be text messages, because with this Ace of Wands and this Devil, it's like people like not like just pulling shit out of like, oh my God, like how did you still have a sidekick around with all the messages still loaded on it? Like who even has one of those? Like, you know, like there's going to be a lot that people have held on to. That's what Spirit's saying. Like there's a lot of people that were waiting for their day, holding on to this information Oop, now is the right time to come out and tell my story. They're desperately, desperately, T.I. and Tiny, going to be trying to figure out how do we spin this? How do we fix this? Do we ignore? Do we fight? What are we going to do here? There's even going to be talks about maybe we should pretend like we're separating for a minute until things die down. Because it's like, like, I keep hearing Tiny getting mad. Like, oh, like, you always put me in situations. And it's like, yes, publicly, she'll go out there and be the ride or die and stick by her man and all of that stuff. But behind the scenes, she's pretty fed up with the fact that she feels like she is always having to be in situations caused by him. That and then she has to go fix and clean up. So it, there is going to be this attempt here with the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Cups to lie, go away, try to, you know, pretend like things are like different or like, oh, we weren't even together back then. There's something about lying about not being there or not being together. This is a huge tower moment for them, you guys. Huge. Huge, 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 huge. High Priestess and the Death card. This has been going on for so long. It finally needed to stop because it was causing so much harm to others. It almost feels like there is some divine guidance behind this. Like people's ancestors being like, time to start telling the truth. Because with the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands, expect that over the next three, three weeks to three months, there is going to be a steady flow of information about things that have gone on that have contributed to this situation, caused pain to others. There is a Queen of Swords woman who is not Sabrina that is also eyeing this situation. She has a lot to say with this Knight of Cups and this Knight of Wands. She's waiting to see with the Hermit. When is the right time for me to come share my side of things? Because she definitely does have a lot to say. This feels like somebody who's a little bit older. Um, She's not like some young, like in her 20s, Instagram model type. This is somebody that I feel like maybe Tip had an affair with who works more on like the industry side of things, like a PR or a publicist, somebody who's going to come out and talk about things that she had seen. Again, we have the Justice card with the Three of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and Nine of Swords. They're not going to be able to just like pay people off the way that they're going to be trying to. Because it does feel like, well, what if we offer this person to shut up? What? How much money can we give them? And it's like, it works for some, for the others it doesn't. They have no idea what is really coming for them. If this is just, oh, our brand is ruined. Or if there is, you know, real true, like, I don't feel prison around this. But Tip has something else that he is embroiled in that he is going to have to serve time for. So whether that means, I know like a while back people were saying that he was like indicted in or arrested on some SB loan scam or some shit like that. Um, there's something involving money that he's going to go to jail for for a little bit. It's going to be like how when he went to jail last time, you know, like you got to go in for, you know, three years or however long he was gone for. Because I feel like him being having to go away for a couple years. 
it'll be club fed kind of shit, but he is going to be facing possible fed time or jail time. But like I said, it's more about business, financial, whatever. But with this emperor and this fool card, it's like Al Capone syndrome, as I call it. You know, it was easier to catch you on the tax fraud than it was on all the other shit that you did that you really deserve to be in prison for. That's what this is. Heine's going to have a really hard time, like, trying to keep things afloat financially if he goes away, too. Their money is not as good as they present it to be. And things have been especially bad for them over the last two to three years, is what Spirit is saying. So... <clears throat> This is definitely going to stop some bags, and it is going to make things difficult for her. Well, gee, Phaedra and uh, what's-your-face Portia, you guys had the whole wrong member of escape, you know, that you were accusing of having dungeons and doing crazy things to <laughs> putting pilling people up and all kinds of stuff like that. It's like whole time that you were accusing Candy, it was really tiny. Who was doing that stuff? I wonder if Candy and Todd are like, we told y'all it wasn't us. <laughs> I could actually see Candy too with her little petty ass laughing. Todd, look at this. <laughs> Point out the end. Look at the Instagram. Look what they're saying. <laughs> All right else we need to know about this situation thank you they really thought that they got away with it it's like there's been a lot of payments that have been made to people over the years um either in exchange for their services or their silence um unfortunately one of the stories that's going to come out is going to talk about something that started off consensually and like went left and somebody got really hurt by it. Like, it's like we were drunk and we were all stripping and then somebody was waving a knife around and I accidentally got stabbed and then they paid me $85,000 to be quiet about it. Like, it's, it's something like really weird like that because we have this two of swords, three of cups. Knight of Swords and Two of Wands with the King of Swords. So it's like they've really fought to like keep a lot of the stuff that's going to be coming out that's even more salacious than what we've heard. Um, they're still fighting right now to try to keep those things under wraps. It's like, oh, Shannon's talking? Like, mm, we just knocked her down and behind a Burger King. Like, we don't really care about her. Who cares? You know, everybody knows we're freaks and we have three thumbs everywhere. Like, psh, who cares? You know, but then it's like, wait, Laura wants to tell about when she broke her leg because we were chasing. Okay, uh, yeah, she. we need to get, you know, the lawyer needs to call her immediately. It's like a lot of negotiating is what I'm hearing is going on. There's a lot of people that got paid, but they, it wasn't expressly, like, it's like talking about, too, like some badly written contracts. So say like they did pay Shannon, you know, to be quiet. And it's like, but they put on their payment for landscaping services. There's no NDA on that. So it's like now she's like looking through this, talking to her lawyer, like, can I say something? And then it's like, wait, so they just gave me money. And then that, like, honestly, like, really, like, I was always allowed to talk. They didn't even write this shit the right way. There's stuff like that. We're going to hear some really crazy things. And again, some of them are going to be big exaggerations. Some of them are going to really be the truth. Expect that we're going to see a lot of people that are around, tiny, like women especially, really separating themselves from her and Tip. They don't want to be associated with this, whatever. Because I keep seeing this queen of wands, this queen of pentacles, this queen of cups, like all around her is the empress. And there's the hangman, the six of swords. It's like, girl, all your friends are leaving you. They don't want to be around you anymore. They're like, oh, you guys are like spoiled baloney. No, thank you. So uh, this is going to be a really crazy year for them. Really crazy year, you guys. 
I don't feel like this is one of those things where it's just going to go away easily. I feel like it's just going to keep going and coming and coming and coming and all this stuff surf surfacing up. And I don't get that Sabrina knew exactly what she was getting herself into. She just thought she was going to bring up some old shit and stir up some drama and get her name trending and maybe like pop off back and forth with them. She was not expecting that all these women were going to come flying out of the woodwork and being like, hey, guess what? That happened to me, too. And it becoming a basic Me Too movement against T.I. and Tiny, of all people. And so, it, but the thing is, you know, I mean, if you're old enough or you have any sort of connection to the industry whatsoever, we've all heard stories about them for a long time anyways. Don't forget, Rob Kardashian said something about them. So, it, you know, I think that more and more people will say stuff and we're going to see more and more come out. <sighs> Get ready, guys. So, anyways, I love you all so very much. Thank you for being patient. I know it took a minute to get to this. I have been slammed just trying to get all everybody's readings done and then also be a parent. So, like I said, the next couple of weeks are going to be a little bumpy, but then hopefully by the second half of February, we will have a new schedule figured out of sorts. Um, use coupon code BELLA20 to get 20% off your reading. All the information is in the description box below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Do all the things. Tell me down below. Have you been hearing about them for years? And what do you think is coming next? Who do you think is going to be exposed next? Is what I want to know. Because I keep getting that there's going to be um, at least four or five more like big celebs that we're really going to be caught off guard by. And I want to see who you guys think is going to be those people. Let's leave our predictions. And then we can come back and see throughout the year if we were right. So anyways, guys, I love you and I will see you all again soon. Bye.